Hi, this is Nick with Arbor Arms, and today we're going to set up the Jedberg Nutrux Extremis uh, holster. So that's located on the back of your of your nutruck here. <clears throat> so if you want to configure it, you're going to rip open the back panel here. You've got two um, holster partitions. Um, this one's for your left-handed shooter, right-handed shooter. It's going to allow you to, to carry, carry appendix. So you're just going to pull that out. Uh, when you get yours, it's going to be a little bit longer than this. This one's already been trimmed to my particular uh, firearm. So I'm going to take that. If you can see the difference, the gap between the panels, that's designed to be wide enough to accommodate the pistol. So what you're going to do is take your pistol of choice. I'm using a blue gun here just for this video, but you can use whatever, whatever your actual firearm is. Just make sure you unload it and it's safe. And you're going to slide it down to the depth where the trigger guard is completely covered. Then you're going to wrap the channel over, over the muzzle. And then you're going to press it down into the, into the hook on the back. And then press down the rest of the panel as well. Okay, so when you pull that out, you're going to have a tail right here. This one obviously has already been trimmed. But you're going to have a tail. So you can either leave it that way if you're not sure which firearm you're going to be using with this uh, but if you're you know what your carry is and this is what you're going to set it for you can cut that off and it just it'll be a lot cleaner of a setup <clears throat> so the next thing you're going to get your uh, back strap retention which comes with the nut rack uh, usually comes installed but in the event that it wasn't installed or you took it off and can't remember how to put it back on you're just going to girth hitch it so we're just going to pass it underneath the 550 cord and uh and give it a, a good solid tug so it bites and that's going to be ambidextrous so obviously you can pull it either direction uh, whichever way you set up so uh you can see we set up by putting that uh, piece of of hook in this uh stirrup right here we created a channel that's not going to close on us and that's going to allow us to uh, place the the sidearm in there okay and then uh, you just want to kind of press down around around the pistol to get a little bit more of a fit. So then secondarily, you have a, you have a magazine channel over here on the, on the back side, and that will accommodate most uh, double stack magazines, uh, Glock, Beretta, et cetera. Uh, maybe a little bit sloppy with a 1911, but uh, you're also, it's gonna be pressed against the body, so you'll get a bit of friction out of that. Uh, there's. As I said, this is ambidextrous, so in the event you have it set up on the other side, you have a mag carrier on that side. Uh, you could, if you were so inclined, have a magazine behind the gun. Uh, don't recommend it, but if you needed another place to put another magazine, and then you're in that a bad way, then that, that could be done. Uh, we don't recommend this, obviously, for just like a daily use. This is really set up for like an E&E type extremist situation. However, if you wanted to use it for surveillance or RNS or something or vehicle operations where you wanted to carry it more commonly or in a less extreme situation, you could use a trigger guard holster to give yourself a higher level of safety in your carry. And you would just <clears throat> install that. This I think is a uh, Raven Concealment Vanguard 2, but you can use basically any of this type of holster. Um, and it can either be girth hitched or this one happens to have a buckle on the tether. Um, but you just want to make sure you set your tether length so it's long enough to go to the full depth uh, to seat when you are using it. <clears throat> In this case, just kind of pop it open a little bit to accommodate the holster and then just kind of press down around it again. So then you have a, you have a back strap and you have some really legitimate uh, trigger protection, so you're much less likely to have a, an inadvertent discharge of the firearm. So you have that, and then you just draw to full extension and it pulls. So you gotta draw a little high, but again, it affords you quite a bit more protection or safety. <clears throat> um, another, another feature here is that in the event that uh, uh, you have a lighted weapon. Um, you can open the channel and it is designed so that the weapon light can pass through and the muzzle still stops on on your uh, on your front strap just as before. 
So um, obviously you can have a weapon mounted light and still have the ability to use this configuration. Um, obviously the uh, trigger guard holsters are a little more problematic with um, with lights, uh, but they're, they are out there and some of them are a little more bulky and may kind of negate the functionality of this, but you can see what's out there and just uh, food for thought. So anyways, this is Nick from Arbor Arms. That's how we're setting up the extremist holster on the Jedberg Nutruck.